Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to another episode of Halo Canon. A, well, sort of a, an episode of Halo Canon. Today we're going to be looking at just doing a quick Blitz card opening and uh, or package opening and uh, just kind of discussing some thoughts on Blitz and whatnot. And obviously, just because I know this is going to come up either as a joke or as a serious accusation, but this is partially just because it's going to get views. So, a little bit of shilling. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me for that. Um, there, <clears throat> there are uh, videos in the works uh, for later this week that are a bit more canon relevant. We got another let's the final let's lore for Halo Wars uh, one coming up, a banished video and a proper review of Halo Wars 2's campaign and uh, canon offerings for Thursday when those are allowed to go live. Anyway, for now, how about some blitz packs? So one thing to note. Isabel's st strategy pack. These five cards will strengthen your Isabel deck. Oh, that's interesting. And a forged DLC pack. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to note, like, one thing that I you know, one thing of of note is that all these, you know, all these were earned through campaign, or I think, I'm guessing the forge one came with the forged DLC, um, which will be available day one. And I don't, honestly don't know where the Isabel pack came from, so... But regardless, um, you know, it's as you can see, it's pretty easy. Like I'm up at rank six, and I already got eight gold packs. I got fourteen of these, which one for, uh, which were all for the, um, just the campaign. Also, the tutorials, like the you have the base tutorial and the advanced tutorial. There's also a blitz tutorial, which I believe awards you a pack. But um, anyway, so let's take a look at uh, the Forge DLC pack. See what see what that gets. Seriously. Okay, Grizzly, nice. Leveled up, Grizzly. Level it up again. <laughs> okay, finally something different. Scatter bomb. That move is a bitch. I don't know if it was. I it probably was in the beta. I, I don't think I ever saw it, but God, that was a bitch. I will tell you. Um, let's keep going with that. So one thing that I noticed after playing the beta is. You know, like, you, you, as you can see, you, you get a decent number of cards. You can level up pretty easily. And there's my Vanguard Kodiak leveled up right away. And there goes the Grizzly again. Now, granted, this is a little biased because it is a Forge-specific pack. But regardless, it's not that hard to get packs. It's not that hard to level up cards. However, and you couldn't do this in the beta, you know, you can actually purchase cards through microtransactions. Now, the store isn't active for me yet, but it'll be active day, you know, as soon as this game goes live on the on Friday. And one thing that does concern me, uh, you know, like initially a lot of people were saying, you know, uh, like I, I was against the microtransactions from, from the moment they were announced just because there is still paid DLC. But there was always a concern that, you know, this would become pay to win. And a lot of people denounced that, myself included. And for the most part, I still believe that it's not going to be pay to win. Combat Savage. Tag your mechanical. Redeploy them. Okay. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, so, you know, there was... There was for the most part, I still don't believe that it's going to be pay to win. But it could definitely kind of lean that way, you know... On Friday when the game goes live, I'm going to have an advantage, straight up. Me and any other reviewer or YouTuber or uh, writer, if you want to include Harispus, who was lucky enough to get in on that. But, you know, there are going to be people that are going to have an advantage if they go into Blitz. That is just going to be a fact. Because they had some extra time. Extra time is not too bad. And, you know, there, there's always going to be that little bit of that little factor. But hypothetically now, with microtransactions, somebody can just come in, buy a shit ton of cards, and level them up nice and fast. So got one more. Okay. Um, especially, like, the, the top tier cards. Like, the low tier cards, the uh, upgrades don't really, you know, it, it's not that noticeable. At least they weren't in the beta. Maybe they're different in the final game. I haven't gotten the chance to test uh, yet. Because, you know, no one's in matchmaking. <laughs> it's like, what? There's, I think there's, pro there's probably like un maybe 50 or... I don't. I think th there's got to be like under 100. I don't know, maybe under 100. I want to say under 100, but who knows? There's no real numbers out there to be sure. But I want to say there's probably under 100, probably even under 50 people that have the game this early. Ooh, Forge's Warthog, nice. So, you know, so there's no way to really, t to really play the game at the moment. But 
Again, somebody could just come in, buy a shit ton of packs, and get something like uh, Forge's Warthog, or get some of the uh, other, um, you know, higher ranking cards and just easily rank shit up nice and fast. So then they're going in uh, and just wrecking shit right off the bat. Who knows? So it, it, it's a my I I think overall it's a minor concern the idea that it would be. Uh, oh, I love Mac Blast. That, that imagery, though. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, uh, the it's a my I think it's overall still a, a minor concern, but it is definitely a valid one that it will come up. I think it's even more valid than it was with rec packs. Um, say for the month of Mythic, that was kind of some bullshit. Um, yeah. Cyclops. Scarab Assault. Oh my god, that was so much fun in the beta. <laughs> Uh, oh, I did not want to do that. I wanted to do all the campaign packs first. Oh, well. Wolverine. Wild Hellbringers. Hell, Hellbringers gone wild. <laughs> oh, probably Marauder. Yeah, for the Shipmaster. Ghost in the Machine. Eh, I tried that in the bait. It didn't really work out that well for me. Atriox is chosen. Shout out to Hidden Xperia for that, for <laughs> getting that card reveal. Anyway, so back to the campaign. Uh, packs. Banshee. Wolverine leveled up. Aggressor Sentinels. Nice, nice. Engineers. Protector Sentinel. That's one thing I absolutely love about this is... We actually got a name for that se that Sentinel type. If you don't know, the Protector Sentinels actually were in Halo Wars 1. They were just called Super Sentinels. Um, but, you know, that's not a official name. That was just like, that was, uh, just a designation, I guess. Um, uh, like, you know, the default Sentinels are usually just called Sentinels, but their proper classification are, uh, ooh, nice, Boundless Fury, um, are Aggressor Sentinels. Because, you know, they're just one class of Sentinels. Sentinel is an overall class, and there's all these subclasses, so. Super wasn't really, a, was really just kind of a designation rather than an actual class. So that's interesting. I still want to know what the hell a safeguard sentinel is. Hello, decoy. Nice. I actually never used that at all. <laughs> even even in uh, I can't say that. I don't think so. Yes, I can't talk about stuff. Hmm. Restoration drones always good. I do kind of like that. That drones are the restoration drones actually are a bit like cannon, like the healing abilities kind of as a a source in the cannon. Nice. Always good to have marines. Fleet Ragers. <laughs> Again, restoration drones. You know, this is something I saw brought up on. Uh, I saw it initially brought up on Twitter, but somebody brought it up on uh, my YouTube channel recently. Uh, I don't know if it was this past day. I'm recording this after the I put those first on Monday, by the way, just for context there. Uh, I don't know if somebody brought it, brought it up today or if they brought it up uh, over the weekend or something. But somebody brought it up that, you know, why are they called elite rangers, even though they don't dress like rain or they don't have the armor of, of uh, rangers. And there's actually two. There's really two schools of thought here. First off, the primary or not just just first off. So. The first school of thought, and this was my initial thought, was that um, Ranger could just mean something different uh, for the Banish, you know. It could be a different type of rank, it could be a different type of classification than it was for the traditional Covenant. Um, like Rangers, you know, in the traditional Covenant are these zero-G experts, whereas, at least in most games, most, uh, at least in... Like some of the tabletop games I've always I've played, they're, they're usually like snipers and what snipers and marksmen, which is kind of the role they take on in the banish. So it kind of fits in that way. It's just a different use of the term. But another possibility, and this was posted by Grim Brother One on Twitter in response to that query, which I think was by Luke, but it, no, I, th I think it was actually Covenant Cannon, one of the two. Whoever it was, they'll let me know. I assume. Ooh, Arc Defense. I could never quite use that properly in the beta. <laughs> I always used it against, like, one unit and utterly wasted it, so hopefully I'll get better in the final game. 
But yeah, so Grim Brother once said that, you know, Rangers don't always have to wear a Ranger harness. Ranger is a rank as much as it is a harness. Um, so that's a, that's definitely another possibility. I personally like my explanation a little a little more, but you know he is he does officially work for three four three, so that's kind of word of God there. Close air support. Oh yes, Pelican gunships. Those are so much fun, and of course the Condor strike. Oh, those that thing is so those things are so fantastic. <laughs> Let's see what else. Well, Taug, the Chap Air, the Marines again, more Elite Rangers, teleportation. I never used that in the beta. It looked interesting, but I never utilized it, so. Cyclops. Jump Pack Brutes are always good. And the Engineer leveled up. I swear that detectability is going to be really, really come in handy because uh, invis units are just the freaking worst. Or cloaked units. I don't know why I censored myself by saying freaking rather than fucking. Whatever. ODSTs. ODSTs in the hell jumper. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's the advanced tutorial. So I'd probably have another one if I did the blitz tutorial. So I'm pretty sure you get that. I uh, gotta love blood fueled grunts. Those things are vicious. All right, here we go. Gold packs. Shockwave. I always oh the blood fueled loca. <laughs> I just love that giant like knife looking thing coming out of its head. I really want. I really can't wait to get more lore, more lore behind some of this stuff. Extractor mines, huh? Hmm. Cloaking field, that'll come in handy. And armored marines. That's one I haven't seen before, actually. It actually reminds me, um, I heard this on I heard this today, though I don't know if it's true. Hold on just a moment. No, that's not what I wanted to look at. Uh extractor marines. Special weapon that steals health. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just want to know what that that like, that looks like a modified. Yeah, that's a rail gun. They're holding a free, they're holding a rail gun. <laughs> Interesting. I want to know. I want to know what the cannon is behind that. Like, what exactly are they siphoning from enemies? Yeah. It's probably not actually canon, but regardless. Um, anyway, so today I heard a very interesting rumor. I don't know if it's true, but I thought it'd be interesting to share to, in order to keep on talking and keep this video somewhat interesting. Um, CIA391 was telling me that he had heard that the art on the cards would actually change as they level up. Now, so far I haven't seen any of that, but, you know, like the highest I have are, I think is like two, maybe three at this point. Nice, gotta love Alice. Gotta love any of the Spartans, really. Grizzly. Elite Ranges again. Good old glassing beam. Gun blood with the blood fuel grunts. Shockwave. Oh, and I should have mentioned before when I was going through the campaign packs. Um the like you'll only earn a pack once per level but you can still earn experience when going through uh you know the campaign on rerun on uh you know later runs if that makes sense i'm <laughs> i'm explaining it terribly but you know anytime you play a campaign level you will oh the brute warlord those things are so badass anyway um you will always get experience when you uh play through the through a mission so it's not a one-time thing, even though the pack is the experience that goes towards your uh, towards your rank and in turn goes towards earning cards and packs. Well, not is not a one-time thing. So. <laughs> Heavy metal. <sighs> I'm gonna be interested to see what other leaders they have. 
Nice. Another er eradication. I almost, I almost wanted to say extraction and then almost mix the words there. Anyway, more nightingale. Those are really damn useful, nightingales. Siphon field. That was a good ability in the beta. Classing beam yet again. Combat salvage. Plant oh yeah, right. Got this earlier. And last pack. Let's see what we get. Grunts. Holo decoy. Pelican transport. Never really used that one either. Double time. Boost the speed movement. Okay, that's pretty cool. And another cloaking field. So there you go. And that's it. That's all the packs I had. Again, just, that was just from, basically just from my playthrough of the campaign. The Isabel and Forge packs, I don't know, but I think the Forge was specifically from uh, the Forge DLC, which, again, is going to be there day one. I think he'll be temporarily free for everyone, but uh, I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. I could swear that that is the case, but, like, again, temporary, but who knows. So, yeah, I would love to get more, but the store is not a... Oh, hey, the store is actually open. Yeah, let's just get 135. <laughs> no, fuck that shit. Oh, God. I poured money into the rec packs. I'm, I do not feel like pouring money into, the, into those. I would much rather spend that money on ground command and fleet battles, because God knows I need to catch up on my models. God knows I need to paint my models. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope you didn't hate it so much that you unsubscribe because I actually do kind of feel guilty now that I finished this for making it because it basically is the ultimate, like, as far as my channel goes, at least clickbaity kind of thing. I don't have anything against other channels that do that, but for one that, for my own channel, it's kind of, I did, a, I did one with the rec pack. I figured I'd just do this one with the blitz packs. Par but also partially because I wanted to kind of discuss some of those earlier concerns about um, pay to win and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to keep I better st stop before I keep rambling. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you didn't like it. Thumbs down, thumbs down it to hell. You know, let me know to make sure to never, ever, ever, ever make anything even remotely like this again. Because while I don't have any intention to make another excuse me, another pack opening video, uh, you know, deter me from doing it in any future game, because God knows I don't think we're going to see microtransactions go anywhere anytime soon. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.